Merry Christmas, everybody. <clears throat> this is uh, Christmas 2019, and I'm outside. I can't believe I'm out here in the rain. Well, it's not raining right now, but it's cold and wet and rainy in Arizona for a change. <laughs> so, anyway, <clears throat> I thought I'd show you a quick video of our yard, our house, on all the work that Jeff put into it and decorating it. There's the Clydesdale with Santa Claus. <clears throat> that was our addition for last year. And then uh, Eric wanted to see the <clears throat> cactus, so there is the organ pipe cactus. Jeff used to put lights on it, but it's gotten so large it is a little bit dangerous to put the lights on, at least for us. And um, and then we have a tree out here, you know, by our sidewalk, and we always light it up. And I think it's cute. We have it. Um, our landscaper uh, trims it uh, round, and then we, you know, put lights on the trunk. Um, the other tree. If I can take you up here without falling. Um, the other tree, um, Jeff bought some of those, I don't know if you can see these blue, uh, I think they call them meteor lights. Um, but he bought those. And then the round spears, uh, there's red, there's multi, there's a blue, there's a green. I made those from, uh, it's a form that I think I got at Home Depot. And you just buy a 100 light set and just wrap it around. Um, and then there's just, you know, we just got a lot of lights and a few inflatables. Jeff likes dogs just like I do. And he bought this one with the two puppies. And they're um, this is gift. And then Jeff's mom. These were her bunny rabbits. And anyway, I don't know if you can see it, but Jeff bought, not bought, he found a little Christmas tree beside that little bunny. And he put that out there so the bunny rabbits would have a Christmas tree. And uh, so there Eric is the new cactus. And it was just when we bought it, it was like three arms, so to speak, and now it's taller than we are. <laughs> um, then here is our wiener dog, inflatable. He's a big guy. <laughs> Hope you can see him. It's, just, it's real early in the morning, but it's very cloudy. And then we got this wreath well, a few years ago, and I think that's a nice accent for the gable here on the roof. Um, sorry about the leaves. We have the tree that's in the front yard is not being very nice right now. It's shedding a bunch of leaves. I think it's called a Chinese evergreen, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the door up to our um, house and got a snowflake there in the window and Jeff bought those two uh, spider looking lights and I uh, wanted to show you my wreath I made out of deco mesh a couple years ago and anyway it turned out really nice I don't know how in focus this is but Anyway, I had fun making it. Jeff says, you want to make those in Selma? <laughs> well, I don't know. But, anyway, so there's that. So, I'm going to go back out. Our, all of our, a lot of our neighbors do decorate. And, um... Some of them have, they, I guess they have their lights set on a timer. Uh, 
The Vietnamese family lives right across the street from us. They're very nice. Uh, they came over, Mr. and Mrs. came over yesterday with a gift of food. And then the family that lives next to them, they are uh, full-time landscapers, self-employed, uh, a nice Mexican family. And <clears throat> they're just very, very, very nice. Um, then I'm gonna pan around and at the end of the street, you probably can't see it, but past the, um, that truck, there is our, um, like a little park. And so then here is a Christmas tree with dogs. So we, as we buy dogs, we just put them around the tree. But there's one thing I forgot this year. It seems that this poor little dog here with the green scarf and the Santa hat, he is missing an eye. <laughs> so we have to call him Popeye. So I've got to find a piece of felt or a button, something to make him a new eye. But right now, some of these that have that cloth type material, like these three, this white one, He's made out of, I guess, some kind of um, wire or cords or something, so he's not droopy. I made a bow for his neck, and then, um, but the other three, they are wet, and they look kind of like a wet dog, which that's what they are. <laughs> um, so, anyway, Jeff put a lot of work into this. Every year, he puts up with me because I just, when I was growing up and um, also <clears throat> when I was uh, even younger, I couldn't always have a lot of things. Um, but <clears throat> Jeff and I have good jobs and we, um, you know, we're, we're not rich, but we, we feel like we do the best we can with what we've got. And we just, enjoy decorating for Chris, not only Christmas but for especially for Halloween so anyway I just thought I'd give you a little tour of the house the lights and um, anyway I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and always <clears throat> keep the faith and um, live each day as we all should live, which is to find the best in people, even though some of them are not very nice, but that's the hope is that maybe someday they will uh, see the error of their ways. And also not to forget the true meaning of Christmas. Um, <coughs> me, for me, it's not just about trees and lights, but love of family and love of our Lord. And uh, I won't go on to that, but, um, or whoever, <coughs> whoever it is that you worship, if you do. Um, I have a lot of Jewish friends and they're just wonderful. And <coughs> I just um, love everybody. So, I'm sorry, but I'm coughing. Um, <coughs> I just got up. So, I've got to go in and get coffee and get warm because even though it's Arizona, it is cold to me. When you're used to 115 and it gets below 60, you're cold, damn it. <coughs> so, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Love you all. Bye.